Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to take a black and white image and turn it into a color image. And I'm going to go ahead and just get started. Uh, the first thing that you need to do is open up your black and white image in Adobe Photoshop like I've done here. I have this image of a car. Uh, it's quite nice. Um, you can use any image that you want. Okay. Um, a few things that, uh, that will make this a little bit more difficult with my image are that there's these, uh, these plants here that kind of go over the car. And uh, I'll tell you why it makes it a little bit more, I'll show you why it makes it a little bit more difficult in a little bit, okay? So the first thing that I always like to do when I open this up is I go to my Layers palette, and if that Layers palette's not open, go up to Windows, down to Layers, and click on Layers, and that'll open up that Layers palette. But what I like to do is I like to make a copy of this background layer, so I have a non-destructive copy that I can always go back to just in case I mess up and I destroy something, um, I will always have an original copy of this background layer. So the way that you do that is you can press Control J on your keyboard and that'll make a copy, it'll name it layer one, or, and I just press Control Z to undo that, uh, or you can click and drag that background layer into your new layer button down in your layers palette and that'll name it a background layer. I'm gonna click, double click on that and I'm gonna rename it color or something along those lines. I'm going to name mine color, as you can see. Okay, um, the reason I do that is because that's the layer that I'm going to be working with and I'm going to colorize it. Actually, the truth be told, I'm actually going to add adjustment layers on top of this to color it, so I'm actually uh, going to try to stay as non-destructive as possible, as you will see. Okay, uh, the first thing that we want to do is select an area that we want to colorize then, and uh, since the car here is the main subject of this image, I'm going to go ahead and colorize that. First, uh, the next thing that you want to do is go over to your tools palette and grab your quick selection tool. Your magic wand is probably on top. So if you do, if you click on your tool palette and uh, hold, you'll uh, a pop-up box will come up and you'll see a quick selection tool. And go ahead and select that. If you need to change size, there's a drop-down box up here. You can change the size. Or on your keyboard, right next to the P on your keyboard, there's a couple bracket tools. The left bracket will, uh, is the hotkey to make your size a little smaller or the right one makes it larger if you just uh, tap on that okay so uh, the thing that you want to do now with that quick selection tool is just quick select the entire subject as you can see as I'm selecting the subject matter here I'm also getting those plants and um, that's why it's kinda of difficult in this image because it's going to be hard to separate those plants from the main image okay and I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure I get the entire car and what I'll do now is I will um, go into my layers palette and I'll click on the adjustment layers button and I will um, oh you can see that this is grayed out right now and I'll tell you why that is it's because in this black and white image as I have it opened up it's a uh, it's loaded as a grayscale to fix that you go up to image you go down to mode and you can see it's selected as a grayscale. You're going to need to convert it to CMYK or RGB. I uh, recommend RGB because you have a lot more options. If this is for print, you will want to convert that to CMYK later, but you can uh, you can do that when you're done with the project. RGB gives you a lot more options. So go ahead and click on RGB, change it. I will uh, recommend click Don't Merge at this point. And uh, and now you should be able to. I'm going to just add this to my selection real quick because I noticed it. But go down to your adjustment layers and click on the hue and saturation adjustment. You'll have your uh, adjustment layer panel or adjustment uh, options box drop uh, pop up. And what you'll want to do is click on the colorize box. You can see that it uh, by default changes it red. I think I want a red car. Actually, you know what? Change, let's just change my mind on the fly. Let's do a blue car. And uh, I'm going to move that slider over to blue. And I'm going to change my saturation to way higher. Okay, maybe 100%. Just for the sake of this tutorial, uh, it's pretty aggressive, but I'll, I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, um, and and that's good. Okay, so there's as you can see, there's areas here that are blue that you don't want blue, like maybe in the window here and uh, this little extra area. The way that you get rid of that is you click on your mask in the adjustment layer and you uh, put Z on your keyboard to get your zoom tool or you can go over here on your tool palette and zoom in on the areas that you see that you don't want blue. Okay, press E on your keyboard and that'll give you an eraser tool or you can get that from your tool palette as well. Uh, you want to go ahead and shrink the size of that so that it's a manageable size and for this sort of work you want to go ahead and keep the hardness kinda hard. So I have 86% I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there. And I'm just gonna click away the areas that I don't want blue. If you click and press uh, 
press shift and then click to a different point, it will um, brush away in between those two points. So that's a good trick to know. And I've talked about that before if you're a returning user. But if you're not, very good tip. I use it all the time. Okay, so I'm just going to do this quick so I don't waste your time. I'm going to click that right bracket to make my brush a little bigger. Brush that blue away where I don't want it blue. And I'll zoom out a little bit and see if how that looks, okay? So there's still a few things, and you want to go around probably and brush away the areas that, uh, that you don't want. But that's pretty good. Maybe I'll get rid of the blue on the bumper because that should probably be silver, right? Okay, uh, and maybe the license plate isn't blue, probably. So you can just do that kind of thing. And also, real quick, maybe these lights are a different color. Okay, the thing that's going to be harder, and I'm not going to go too much longer because you already get the basic idea, you can repeat these steps uh, with the, the lights, with the grass, with the sky, with the trees. You just use that quick selection, make your selection, and you colorize them however you want. So uh, I'm not going to repeat that step. But uh, I will real quick touch on these plants that we've colored in blue. And probably the only way to get in there and get those plants, since this is a black and white image and everything is pretty much similar, is you're going to have to go in and you're going to have to manually erase those areas and try to paint them a certain color, okay? So let me just try to do that real quick. I don't know how well it's going to work since I'm trying to work quickly here, but uh, go ahead and select your eraser tool and make sure you're on the mask and go up to the top here and select your hardness down to pretty low. So I got a, a 10 or 12 percent hardness and I'm just going to click around these plants. Just just kind of click, 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 click. Uh, the, since they're plants in this picture, kind of lucky because you can just kind of click a little bit and I'm going to leave just like a little bit of blue in there. This is kind of where some artistic sense comes in because if we leave a little bit of blue, you're, you know you're probably going to be able to see through these plants a little bit and see through to that blue. So just kind of click, 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 click. And hopefully this looks pretty good when I'm done. Okay. Because we're also going to have to make a selection here, and this is going to be a little bit tough. Okay, so I'm going to go with that. So I've kind of gotten all these areas that I want. And... Uh, and what I'll do now is I'll, I'll try to make a selection below this selection. So I'll make my quick selection. I'll select what I can. And it doesn't have to be extremely accurate, I don't think, because I'm below the other selection. But I want to get these plants. And maybe I'll go ahead and, since I'm doing plants, maybe I'll just go ahead and select everything around the car. Let's see if I can get everything other than the car. If you select, if you, uh, with a quick selection tool, if you get some, a little extra selection, like as you can see, I got some of the car that I don't want to do, you can press Alt on the keyboard, and that'll uh, give you a minus, or a, a subtract from the area, so you can click and subtract from the area, okay? I don't want the bumper either, but I do want the plants, so I'm going to be kind of loose with this. Okay, and like I said, since I've already gotten, hopefully this works the way I want. Okay, so I have the selection that I want, I think, and, uh, and you know, I say I think because you're going to have to play with this too, just like I am. But uh, go ahead and click on your adjustment tool, go to hue, hue and saturation, make it green or a plant color or something like that, and bump up that saturation, and yeah you can see that nothing's happening and I'll tell you why right now it's because this is covering it up hmm. for some reason that didn't work let's try that again I'm sorry I'm gonna go I'm gonna go even quicker this time I'm gonna just make my selection we already erased off of that uh, that quick mask tool, so the erasing that we did 
uh, to let the blue shine through a little bit. That should still be good. I must have had the wrong um, layer selected when I did that. It's the only thing that makes much sense. So go ahead and make your selection. If you get a little too much, maybe that's okay. I'm going to go with it this time. If I make a mistake, I'm going to just have to start this tutorial over. Okay, so let's get rid of this hue and saturation too because that's the one that we messed up. Um, okay, let's try this. Okay, so with this layer selected, we're going to click a hue and saturation adjustment layer. We're going to add color eyes. Oh, good, it did work. Okay, and we're going to make it green to make the grass green. And we're going to bump up that saturation. Okay, we're going to make the darkness a little lower so it looks like real grass. That saturation is way too high. So we're going to make it look about like that. That looks pretty good, okay? And uh, I clicked the visibility off of this layer just to make sure I was uh, actually doing something uh, the second time around. And so I'm going to go ahead and click that visibility on. I hope I didn't lose you, okay? If I did, please feel free to leave a comment and I will, uh, I will, I will go through, back through the steps, okay? So, as you can see, with this layer mask, I, I deleted some of these areas and you can... You can kind of see through some of these plants. That worked out pretty well. You're going to have to go up and touch it up, okay? So you can see that there's too much blue. So what we'll want to do is maybe rename this hue and saturation layer blue. This one green or green grass. The computer's starting to die on me, so I'm going to have to go a little quicker. Okay. And what we'll do is, uh, with the green, we can click on that mask, and we can press E, and we can delete the areas that we don't want. And on, we can do the same on the blue, and we can do that throughout the entire image, okay? Now, the more you delete, you have to be careful that you don't get too much of those plants, but you might have to zoom in and... Uh, Make sure that you get exactly what you want. So I'm going to go ahead and make this a little smaller. I'm going to get more of this blue to go away on some of these plants that I want to show through as green. Okay, and that should be good. That should be a good enough explanation. So I hope that helped. I hope you learned a lot from this tutorial. Um, but that's that's essentially how you do it. Okay. So like I said, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments area. I hope you learned a lot from this tutorial. Um, and I hope you liked it. If you liked it, please uh, feel free to click the like button on YouTube. And uh, please follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And uh, thanks for watching.